But I'm going to make this homemade soil. I have this is gardening soil as you can see. Uh, still I see I have some grasses and all this thing. This is the this is homemade compost, but it needs some some work here. This is the compost as you can see the difference here. I bought from a company and this is peat moss. So I'm going to mix these four items here. And the idea is I want to make highly uh, nutritious, organic rich potting mix. Homemade potting mix, I would say. A natural, of course. So let me put here. Wow, it's heavy. Wow, this is tons of this. I can can remove all the grasses and all this item here. It has so many things. But this is from my garden, so I can. So this all big soil balls. I'm going to put here and next here. Yes, so yes, I think that's fine. And let me put in the middle. Oh, I have some. Then I'm going to mix. This is our homemade compost that we made using kitchen waste and all yard waste As you can see here so many items still I'm mixing it and then this is the compost I bought it's not finely made, but I'm going to use only a little bit. It's almost half of this other bucket, 50% of other buckets. So here, let's mix it. And finally, I'm going to mix this pit moss right here. So, the, I'm eating, um, I'm mixing pit moss because pit moss helps keep the soil moss moist. And um, all like all these four items complement each other meaning the micro bacteria fungus whatever the soil has the each compost type or each soil has different type of micro bacteria even in this about one fist of soil there are billions of microorganisms so they are our in fact our they are friends of soil let's say for our plant and that ultimately helps us so our light is almost ready potting mix beautiful potting mix is getting ready here so and I almost this potting mix is ready. 